The Laird State Forest is around uh, 8,000 hectares. About 4,000 hectares will be impacted by both these two mines. Our family's been in the Malls Creek area for 160 years. I'm a sixth generation, or well, my children are a sixth generation um, in the area. Um, we've sustainably logged this place and uh, we think that it should be left for you know, everyone else. A lot of my friends just call me Muzz. And I've been camped out in the Leard State Forest for just over 250 days doing battle against three coal mines and two coal companies. And it's just crazy that the government would allow mining companies to mine in a state forest in a tier one biodiversity area, um, surrounded by farmlands. The main concern for us with the coal complex generally is, is just the sheer size. 24 or 5 million tonnes for a small community like ours is going to have major impacts. Once the groundwater goes down um, 5 to 10 metres, a lot of these trees will die. There's 34 threatened and endangered species in the Malls Creek area um, and in the Laird Forest in particular. These animals, well, the, this flora actually requires um, this specific species of um, box gum to survive and once this remnant's gone then they effectively will have to go somewhere else. And they're going to mine right up through the middle of the forest so there's not one block, it's, it's separated. So the animals basically won't have anywhere to live. For, for these areas to be offset is simply a joke. This forest can't be offset. The Malls Creek mine will be nearly twice as big as this mine. It'll be 330 metres deep and it'll impact on our groundwater uh, for the region. For farmers, the water table could reduce between 5 to 10 metres and that's going to impact on the ability of our businesses to water our stock and to, you know, to produce um, the produce that we have. There's a lot of water under the ground and when the mines go through they'll just completely drain the aquifers. We can see from the rehabilitation that's been done here, they're putting 10 centimetres of topsoil over the top of all this mining spoil. Trees will never ever grow in that again. We'll never get the likes of these really big trees in that spoil. And for people to think that the hollows will develop and for the animals will come back in 400 years time is simply wrong. No one wants to move to Malls Creek. Everybody knows that there's a big coal mine going there. And for us, it's not what we envisage for our community. We want a, the community that we had, not the one that's coming to us.